Hello, and welcome back to another Rotato Guide, Dangerous Level 5, and we're going all through all the characters. Today's character is old. We have a minus 25% enemy speed. We have a plus 10 harvesting, a smaller map size with negative 33% map size, and we've got a minus 10% enemies, so less enemies, and we have a minus 10% speed. So we're gonna be moving a bit slower. That's not a modification, so um, it is just a base speed, so we can always get our speed back. Um, for, for old, you could go with the screwdriver or the wrench um, and do some landmines and take engineering. Um, but I think for this playthrough and for the sake of this guide, we are gonna go with plank. Uh, plank gives you some melee damage, explosive damage, and elemental damage. So wave one goes by pretty quickly and we'll level up and we'll start our level up with see what our first upgrade is so I'm gonna keep re rolling here because I'd like to get some more harvesting going right off the bat so we got harvesting here so we're gonna go with that and then I'm gonna begin taking planks and we'll just keep re-rolling until we get some planks, unless we get charcoal could be good. Um, we might take that, so I'm gonna lock it in and keep re-rolling here. We want landmines uh, because we do have some elemental and we will be upping our engineering eventually. Um, so landmines will be nice for that because we wanna get our explosive damage going. And we didn't get any more planks, so we're just gonna go to the next wave. Everybody is having a great day today. Okay, wave two complete. We leveled up twice, so we got two upgrades. Uh, for this first one, I think I'm gonna take luck uh, to get a little bit of luck going and be in the positive for that. And then we're gonna take a little bit more harvesting. Keep getting that money. Here we're gonna take the charcoal, we'll lose a little bit of harvesting, but that's okay. And we'll get a plank. And I'm gonna lock in the coffee to get more attack speed. And we'll go on to wave three. character can be rough uh, because of the small map size and the amount of enemies and you also don't have a lot of speed right off the bat so it's harder to dodge away from them. so we're trying to get our damage up to where we can handle this small small map here we got a free turret we'll take it um, I'm gonna go with a little bit of attack speed here to just start getting our attack speed up coffee's gonna add more attack speed piggy bank will be great uh, we're only on wave three, so we're gonna start using that. 20% of your materials at the start of your wave stops working after wave 20. Obviously, we only go to wave 20 for when we're doing these guides. And we got lock in another plank and go to the next wave. I like going for plank because. Uh, the character's old, so I kind of think of the character as having a garage full, filled with old wood um, from other projects, and they want to use that old wood for different stuff, but then it ends up building up, and so now he's stuck with all these old planks and wood in his garage. Here I'm going to go with, uh, let's do some HP regen. We'd like to get that going. A little bit of HP would be great. And I'm going to do some melee damage here. Take another plank. I'm going to keep rolling for planks instead of taking a hedgehog or anything else. More landmines. We're going to take that for more explosions. Uh, boiling water. You could take that for more elemental, but I'm going to keep re-rolling here and get another plank. 
We're on wave five with five planks, which is you want to keep the amount of weapons you have with the amount the wave you're on. So if you're one, you want one. All the way up to six, and try to have six weapons for wave six. But yeah, I imagine this guy's got some wood in his garage, and he put together some explosive planks. So I know when I do projects, I have a lot of leftover wood sometimes, and I just hang out to it for thinking I'm going to use it for another project, but then I don't end up using it, so they just pile up in my garage. So, Mutation has got ranged, elemental, we lose speed. I'm not going to lose any more speed at this point. Uh, these are all commons, so I'm going to reroll here, and we will take a level 2 harvesting for now. Mastery's good, we'll take that. We'll get our melee up, and we don't really need range, so... Keep rolling here. Don't see anything there. Let's go with coffee here and explosion damage. So we're gonna start getting our explosion in size and damage up for the plank because the plank has explosive and elemental damage both. So we'll re-roll again and we got one more plank that we can lock in and go to wave six. We didn't get the last plank there for wave six, but we should be able to make it through the wave and get it next next time. Next shot. And it's a level two plank on the next shot, so that's good. Every time you get a plank upgrade, you have a chance of increasing the chance that it will cause an explosion. Up to about 80% for a level four. Obviously, the more upgrades, the better chances for the explosions are. And if we keep getting a little more landmines, that'll help too. All right, we'll take another turret for free. And we'll take some more attack speed here, level two. And then we're gonna take all these planks. So we'll take the level two plank, we'll upgrade another one. And we got a level three. Playing, so that's great. But we will we'll combine these and take that one. On to wave seven. You want to keep make sure for the first few waves you want to get your harvesting up. You don't have to hit those eggs that are spawning. They'll usually spawn bigger guys and give you more materials, but. You want to get your harvesting up and damage up for the first few waves so you can keep up with everything and then kind of work on HP, armor, and survivability after that. Um, because you want to get the harvesting going right away and kill enemies pretty quickly. Now burning and fire will synergize with this build pretty good um, because it has elemental damage so we can get something like that or a flamethrower when hurt. Alright, weird gears, so we're not gonna take that, we're just gonna recycle it. And we'll take some we'll do some life steel here. Uh get that going. And then we have engineering, HP regeneration, elemental damage. I'm gonna go with why don't we do we'll do elemental damage um, to increase our elemental and take another plank. Poisonous tonic. We don't need that. Uh, well, we do need the attack speed, but HP, HP regen is probably more important right now. Beanie, we don't need range, so I'm gonna take that to kind of increase our speed. Last cannon, we don't wanna lose three armor because then we'll have to build that back up and I don't wanna deal with that right now. Head injury, we're gonna take that as more damage and less range, which we don't use. Uh, I'll take a little bit more life steal with the bat and lose a little bit of harvesting there. And Beanie again, so we're gonna lock that in. And we could do Pencil too, and Turret, both those. We'll do Pencil to get the Engineering going. Engineering will help with the landmines and any turrets we acquire. I imagine this guy's got 
you know, if it's like anything like me, we have, have a lot of extra tools and nails and screws and all sorts of stuff in my garage. Stuff that I don't end up using, but I'm always waiting on that one little project that I'm going to get that I'm going to use those items. Occasionally, I'll use one or two, but probably not as often as I, I would hope. And I end up throwing away or burning some of the wood I have. Alright, more melee damage is great for mastery. We're gonna take that. We don't need range. So we'll take that. We'll take some max HP to up our HP. Gentle alien's good. We're gonna take the max HP and the damage and increased enemies will give us more money. Take that beanie. I'm gonna keep it rolling here. I don't want to lose any HP, so I'm not gonna take injection. Gambling token can be good. Um, we could get our dodge up a little bit, so I'm gonna take that. We will have to get armor back though at some point. But yeah, if you've had anything that you collect in your garage and don't use, let me know in the comments or any items for. Any other situations, uh, I usually get a lot of electronics, so I have a lot of cables that I've built up in my house and they just end up being in the box and I never use them. Another thing that they just keep building up. And then I always throw away the one cable that I need. Just a money way of just kind of be aware of your health. You can still lose it fairly quickly. Uh, so we're just going to kind of just dodge around, stay alive if you need to, just pull back, get some health back if you can from health, re health regen or lifesteal or consumables. We got out of that with 450, roughly 450. We're going to take the coupon for free. We're going to take a little bit more dodge and we're going to up our attack speed. Now we got plus four elemental, plus two elemental, HP regen. We'll do both these. Um, we're just gonna really start getting our elemental up. Head injury, we're gonna get more damage. And these we can hold off on. Actually, we'll take the eight HP for four more dodge since we just took a bunch of dodge. And we'll keep going here. We don't need, I'd rather have more HP regen than max health right now. Boiling water, but we will take the boiling water for more elemental. Hopefully we'll get a um, flamethrower or scared sausage would be good. So we can start spreading some fire damage and elemental damage everywhere. Or incinerator, it'll all be good. This is one of the harder characters just because of the tight quarters. So you kind of got to be aware of dodging. You can't just escape to the side of the board as easily as the other ones. Got to kind of stay in the middle and let the explosions hopefully hit and take care of some of the guys. Got a crate here, which is nice. Keep grabbing the HP whenever you need it. Don't have to grab it if you don't need it. You can wait. You can't hold it. If you start to lose health. Go grab it. Lure's good because we're gonna get an HP regeneration and two loot aliens. So we're gonna take that. Uh, we're gonna take 20 luck here just because it's level four, and we can get our luck even higher. So it's great. Warrior helmet. We could lose speed again and take armor and HP, which I think I'm gonna do, just because three armor is really good and we can get back in the positive with that. Little muscly dude would be good. We got three melee damage plus max HP, so that we're gonna take that. Uh, we don't need any more harvesting, so I don't wanna lose armor. Mastery's good, so we're gonna lock that in and go to the next wave. Wave 11, this is a boss wave, so these are this is a really tough one. Um, this boss is really hard, because uh, once you get close, you're fine at the start. 
and then it ramps up extremely fast. See, like, I took a lot of damage right there already. And so I'm just kind of pulling away. And it'll just keep spawning people right by her. Like, right by her. So it's really hard to get close and survive. So I just kind of just dial back and try to run around the, the perimeter for this one. This is one of the harder bosses for sure, mini bosses. But we'll just keep trying to hit the loot aliens if we can. Stay to the outside. Go around in circles and with explosions, take care of the little dudes. Grab crates, grab you know, food, HP when you can. Food, I don't know what that is. I don't even know if it is a food. I think it's cactus. And we just, you know, got through the wave. But you don't have to kill that that mini boss, so. That's a really tough one. So rain and elemental, no speed, we'll recycle that. Here I'm going to take, we could take our crit chance, let's take some crit chance to get our crit chance back up to the positive and we're gonna take that mastery from last round. Keep rolling, we got big arms here, which is 12 melee damage, which is really nice. We lose a lot of speed and a lot in armor. The 12 melee is really nice, but I think I'd rather have the silver bullet for the 25 damage against bosses. And then the alien magic is good here because we have a lot of luck, so we're gonna take the HP regen and HP. Um, I normally would take this, but our speed's really slow right now, and if we get another boss wave, that could be really bad. And it's it's pretty costly too, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with another plank uh, next round after we, we get through 12. We really use some burn damage and elemental damage since we're building that up. Hopefully we'll get something that'll that'll cause burn, like scared sausage. But if you get any explosion radius or anything along those lines or explosion damage, definitely take that because it could be really fun when you get in the higher levels and just everything's exploding. And we could we need to up, upgrade our actual base damage to our da damage percentage. Get that one up. So we have almost 700 materials there. That's pretty good. Here I'm going to take three armor to get my armor up even higher. Here I'm just gonna get this nine speed because that'll take us back to a flat speed, which will help. Plank, uh, you know, we got another one of those and I'm gonna take some more HP regen here. Could take Cyberball. Um, yeah, let's take Cyberball, we'll take that for extra three damage. Alloy, we're gonna lose a lot of dodge there, but we'll gain melee damage and a lot of elemental, so, and some crit chance. So we'll take that, and engineering too, which will help our turrets. Hunting trophy, gain extra material for killing an enemy with a critical hit, so we'll take that too. And beanie, we'll lock in beanie, we'll take some more speed on the next wave. Kind of, you kind of want to stick to the middle. You can do subtle movements for this guy. You don't need to run around too much. Because the explosion should hit and take care of the perimeter. And then you kind of just move back and forth and avoid the projectiles. When the big guys come at you, try to dodge those guys. Like that. Still take some hits and you know, grab health when you need it. Try to avoid the projectiles are the worst. Those are the ones that usually take me out. I'm not looking at them too much. I'm looking at the, the aliens, and then I just forget about the projectile and it hits me. Alright. Cute monkey's good because we don't need rage damage. We're going to take that for the 8% chance to heal on consumables and goat skull. We will take the 3 extra melee damage. Here, I'm going to reroll and see what else we get. And we got the plus 5 HP regen, that's really good, we'll take that. 
more speed. Um, lemonade's good. Get some HP from the consumables. And I will sacrifice some armor for eight more damage. So we can get some that, or for eight more dodge, sorry. Dangerous Bunny is free reroll, so we'll take that. Uh, I'm not gonna lower my elemental right now. I will increase my elemental. And we will take another alien magic after wave 14. Wave 14 is a, another elite wave. Try to stick close to these big guys and take them out as soon as possible. So we can take care of them and not have all those projectiles everywhere. Stay in the middle if you can. Just kind of hanging out in the middle doing subtle movements towards the bigger guys. See the explosions are taking out quite a few guys at once. So you're getting some nice material. Health is looking okay, just even just kind of hanging in the middle. And, you know, we're getting a lot of cactuses or fruit or whatever the hell that is. Uh, spawning so we can heal ourselves if we need to at any time. So. Still got about 600 materials, which is nice. I'm gonna take a little bit more elemental there. Take the alien magic. And we will continue to reroll. Cyclops worm, we don't need range, so we're gonna take the damage on that. And metal plate, we will sacrifice a little bit of damage for the armor, so we got a little bit of survivability. Uh, gentle alien, plus two max HP, plus five damage, and more enemies. We will take that. And crown. Extra harvesting at the end of waves, we'll take that next round. We'll get too much harvesting from that. We only have five rounds left, so. Might not see a whole lot of that, but. Any more money is always good. So you can reroll. Need to. When you get a lot of these waves with the projectiles, it can be pretty rough. You just gotta really watch projectiles and move out of the way if you see them. The guys with the arrows, usually you can just kind of hang. They won't really do anything to you. It's more important that you dodge the, the small bullets than the arrows, because the arrows will kind of spread out in almost a square format. I'm pretty bad at dodging, so but I'm still staying alive, so you might have better luck than I do. health back and round's almost over it's over so big flag we don't need um because it's minus five enemies and we don't want to really do that we're gonna take some more hp regen here um the faster that's regening the better crown uh we will take that and max hp for dodge i'm not gonna take that our max hp is looking pretty good i'd rather get uh dodge and armor and hp regen up Blank two take that and we got let's see what else we got here nothing that we want here alien worm we can do plus three hp hp regen so we're gonna go ahead and do that and do more hp regen we don't have range but we could take the XP gain on the Scar, or we can just save our money on that. Our HP can be capped at 75, which I'm just going to do that because we've got the 8 melee damage, and I think we have enough max HP to get through the rest of the waves. Uh, plus one engineering for every elemental damage you have. That's actually really good. We're going to lock that strange book in. We'll lose one melee, but it doesn't matter. We'll gain a ton of elemental damage. Take care of these little guys, the purple, well they're all purple, but uh, the guys with like the warts on them right away, because those will spawn the red guys, so if you take those out, and you'll have an easier time getting through the wave. I'm just kind of hanging in the middle here. Not really dodging or moving around too much. I seem to be taking some hits and getting my health back, so handling 
most of the way pretty good. We'll go up here and take some of these, more of these guys out, but... Usually we'd have a little bit more explosion damage, but we don't. So we're gonna take a strange book now and keep rolling. Ah, uh, we didn't take cape there. Um, probably my bad. I just I went through it quickly. But plank, another one. A we could just, we could take garden, but that's just, to me I want more damage and health right now. So spawn more trees is gonna be good. Usually you get pocket factory by now too, which would be really helpful. But uh, heavy bullets we don't need because we're not range build, and we're we'll reroll. And plant's good. We're gonna take some more health regen, even more. So we're up to 30 now. Uh, energy bracelet's good because we got crit and elemental damage, which both those things are good for us, and we don't need range. So I'll go to the next wave. We've got a boss wave here, and this guy you're just gonna want to like. He'll come right at you, and you're just gonna want to like dodge him every time he comes at you. Eventually, a morph. This one's also kind of hard because of the punching bad guys. Uh, take a lot of damage to kind of get in the way of dodging. So this one could be a little rough on this small map too. So now that you're at the circle phase, you're just gonna keep hitting him as he goes by, and you know waiting in the circle basically. Trying to keep an eye on the projectiles that are coming at you too, and keep trying to hit them, maybe knock them down to at least kill them, and we killed them. So now we got a little bit more movement around us, so we can go and go take out these little dudes. The trees get some more harvesting. And, you know, now we're in pretty pretty good, good shape. We should be getting a lot of health back. All right, cape, life steal, dodge. We are going to take this because. 20 dodge and 5 life steal. I didn't take it last time. Um, I skipped over it on accident, but they gave it to us. So we're going to take it here. That's going to help our survivability. And we'll go with the flat 12 damage here, so get our damage up. More elemental and crit. We'll take that. Elemental damage plus 10. That's really good for us. Um, so we're going to take that. We'll lose 5 engineering, but we'll take it. Uh, plant is HP regen. We'll take more of that. And I'll sacrifice harvesting. We're up to 73, so we won't need that much for the next couple waves. Uh, Tardigrad is nullifies damage. We'll lock that in. Blindfolds would be good too. Crit chance and dodge. And we just lose some range, which we don't need. So we'll lock both those in. Hopefully get enough money to take care of that. Usually this build will ramp up more if you have pocket factory and or get like some kind of flames, carry sausage, anything. Kind of got unlucky with all that, but we're still making it through fairly easy. Just stand there and pretty much even taking a couple of like Hits. We can, you know, take a few hits, move around, and you can see we're getting our health back fairly quickly with the plus ones regenning. But as long as I avoid enough projectiles where I don't get hit every two seconds, um, I could get my health back up to, you know, decent level. Well, there, I'm almost, I almost died there, but I got back. I wasn't really concentrating, but we're good. We move on. And broken mouth. I'm just gonna recycle. Here I'm going to take more armor so we can take more hits. Take that. Nullify one damage. We don't really need bag at this point. Blindfold we're going to take. There's another blindfold we can lock in. For wave 19. Another just single plank. So we will take that. And we'll go on to wave 19. I'll just kind of hang out in the middle and see see what we can do here with the explosions and if we have to actually even move all that much. I 
we're killing most things before they even hit us. I'm, I haven't really seen our health go down. That was the first I've seen it go down. It's already going back up with me not even doing anything, moving around or dodging or any of that. So explosions are doing is explosion and HP regen are doing what they need to do. Uh, so I'm gonna run around a little bit now and just grab materials, grab a couple of trees. But we can take definitely take a few hits and be good to go and get our health back. And not worry too much. Ritual will be good. Um, damage and life steal. We'll sacrifice a little bit of engineering for damage and life steal, so that's fine. We don't need bag, and I'm gonna get even more armor. We could have got more engineering there. More explosive damage. We will definitely take that. And do blindfold and energy blaze bracelet both. And we'll keep going here. We're just looking for damage. And at this point, losing, we have 42 dodge. Um, but let's get some more damage from Alloy. Because it's the boss wave. And I don't think we're going to be able to afford anything anymore, anything else. So we will go to the wave 20 and take on the bosses. Tight quarters. Um, but usually you want to stay fairly close to these guys anyways. And I kind of just go in the same direction as the big loop thing. And hang out around them. And try to avoid the red dots as much as possible. And just keep going around them. Our attack speed could have just definitely been higher, but um, so now they mutated, and you just kind of hang out in the circle. We get some crates here, some health back, and just kind of like hanging out. Don't rush things. You don't need to be super close to these guys. You can just let them kind of walk towards you and do their own thing too. It's more important that you effectively dodge this right now. Definitely not as fast as some of the other characters. Well, we took one out, and now we'll just slowly go around this guy. Walk around him. Kind of keep an eye on projectiles again. And just like that. We got old done uh, using planks. So, that's the gist of it. You could do definitely a turret and mine build which I might do that too for another guy just for to show people but this this build works and it got it done and it wasn't too rough a couple little hairy areas but we got it done hope you enjoyed the guide and I will see you on the next episode thanks for watching